Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? This is Wise underscore Liberty 87 here, and today I'm demonstrating making a protein shake. First up is the bananas. Bananas, once again, are good for potassium, they're great for energy and fiber as well. And to me, bananas is like the foundation to every smoothie, simply because of the flavor. You just want to make sure that they're right when you're using them to get the best out of the flavor. Now I'm also adding in some pitted dates, and dates are good for fiber and you know, digestion as well. Dates are also known for leveling out your blood sugar, and it's known for lowering blood pressure. And it's also a good flavor, man. It's real sweet, and they're affordable. Up next is the Design Away Protein Powder. And I'm using chocolate for the flavor. Since most of my smoothies are fruity, I wanted to switch it up this time and try a different type of smoothie. And you just need one scoop of that. You know, no more than one scoop. And then after that, I'm adding in a little bit of coffee, you know, for energy boost. It's not necessary. It's just one of the things I like to do with my smoothies is, you know, Add energy to it pretty much you know boost your energy and your mood you know I wouldn't suggest putting that you know in your smoothie at night I'm also adding in some peanut butter as well and peanut butter is an excellent source of protein and it's very affordable you know you just add in like one tablespoon of that no more than one tablespoon you don't need too much and that's the thing with smoothies man you don't need too much of anything you know it's just a little bit goes a long way next up I'm adding in the cinnamon and it's just a personal touch you know I'm just experimenting with the flavor and from there for the base I'm using almond milk you know I try to stay away from dairy products I'm not perfect you know I, I sometimes like to use yogurt in my smoothies but trying to cut off the dairy simply because I learned dairy um, increases the mucus in your system and I have to give a shout out to one of my Facebook group followers for giving me this idea to make a protein smoothie. Up next I'm adding in some ice cubes you know it's pretty obvious just to give it that cooling effect and uh, getting the right texture And the next stage, of course, is to blend. And like I say in all my smoothie tutorials, I like to blend for at least a minute. Just to make sure all the ingredients is mixed in and to get you know, the right consistency. In this case, I'm getting a more soupy consistency. You know, I'm not making it too thick. You know, it's optional if you want your smoothies to be thicker. Now, I like to kind of alternate between thick and sometimes having it, you know, loose as well. And as you see, it's a nice brown tan color. And voila, you got yourself a protein smoothie. Mm.